Hi all, uh, this is Ms. Solomon, and this video is going to be about body orientation for anatomy and physiology. Um, so when we talk about body orientation, uh, we're describing this thing called anatomical position, which is where the body is standing straight, facing forward, um, upper limbs are at their sides, and their palms are forward. So this image here, and this is a back version. Um, besides like uh, your normal um, posture of just like standing up straight, the only odd one about this in terms of like the way that you would normally stand is that your palms are out facing forward. It's important for us to have this so that we can reference the body and it's always looking the same no matter how we're referencing it. Um, so now some directions, uh, superior versus inferior. Uh, superior means that a body part is above or like sort of like more, I wanted to say north, but that wasn't the right word. Um, <laughs> just above uh, something, it's all relative. Um, and, and inferior means it is below. Um, so for example, the head is superior to the shoulders. Um, the hands are inferior to the wrist, etc. It's all relative. Um, in comparison. And again, notice that this person is standing in anatomical position. Um, so here is just some questions. You can decide if A or B is superior or inferior to the other, and then again, C to D, which one's superior, which one's inferior. So you should note that in this image, A is superior and B is inferior. And here, C is inferior, D is superior. Again, relative to each other. Anterior versus posterior. So anterior um, is generally, in, in our cases, like a front, and posterior is back. Um, you might hear the words dorsal and ventral um, being used here. Ventral being similar to anterior, dorsal being similar to posterior. Now, the confusing part about that is for humans, that's true, but for other animals, that is not, right? We are upright, and other animals that do not stand upright have separate dorsal, ventral, anterior, and posterior. Um, so ventral sort of meaning like a belly side, dorsal meaning like a backside. For us, those are the same as front and back, but for other organisms, it's not. Generally, we will be talking about, this is human anatomy and physiology, so um, anterior and posterior, dorsal and ventral can be used interchangeably. The only thing that I ask you is that you pair them appropriately. You should not be pairing anterior with dorsal, okay? Medial versus lateral. Um, so this is referring to an imaginary midline that goes down vertically through the body. Um, lateral means that something is further away from that midline, and medial means that something is closer to the midline, okay, um, to this imaginary uh, line. So um, your shoulders are more lateral, your lungs are more medial. Does that make sense? Um, in regards to this lateral aspect, you can have bilateral body parts, that prefix bi meaning two. Uh, bilateral means that you have a paired structure, one of which is on each side of the body. So lungs, for example, would be a bilateral body part, uh, same with kidneys, or even like legs, and et cetera. Um, ipsilateral versus contralateral. Ipsilateral refers to, again, a pair of structures that are on the same side of the body. For example, a right lung and a right kidney are ipsilateral. Contralateral means there are two structures that are on opposite sides of the body. Bilateral body parts are also contralateral. So different legs are contralateral. Or your right arm and your left leg are contralateral. Uh, the big difference between contralateral and bilateral is that bilateral implies that they are almost um, symmetrical. Contralateral does not necessarily imply that they're symmetrical. Proximal and distal. So proximal means it is closer to a point of attachment to the trunk, and the trunk is your main body area um, from like your shoulders and your torso um, down to the groin. Um, so proximal means it is closer to a point of attachment to the trunk. Distal means that it is further away. Um, so, uh, from that point of attachment, again, 
all relative terms. Uh, superficial slash peripheral versus deep. So um, superficial and peripheral, again, people use, um, and they mean the same thing, but here we're talking about something that's situated near the surface of the body versus deep, where we're talking about something that is um, more internal than superficial parts. So for example, the epidermis layer of the skin is superficial in comparison to the hypodermis layer of the skin, which is deep in comparison to the epidermis. Body planes. Okay, so we have three body planes that we're going to discuss. There's the frontal plane, which is dividing, for example, into an anterior posterior section, right? A front back. The sagittal plane, which is that um, imaginary midline uh, to which we compare like um, lateral and medial. And then there's this transverse plane, which cuts through um, in a horizontal way across the body. Um, you could sort of divide inferior and, and superior in this one. Um, but again, all of those terms are relative. Um, we can also use those terms to describe the way that we cut organs. Uh, so when we do dissections, you might see uh, those uh, that terminology as well. Um, and other sorts of sections, you might hear of longitudinal sections, cross sections. We will not very infrequently not see oblique sections, but you might see it in, in a diagram or an image um, that's taken of, of an organ. Uh, body cavities, we're not gonna get really in depth here with body cavities. Um, for us, there are gonna be two major sets of body cavities. There's the dorsal and the ventral body cavity, okay? So we're gonna mostly focus on the ventral body cavity, which is in the front here. Um, the dorsal body cavity, uh, includes like the cranial cavity and the spinal cavity. The ventral body cavity includes things like the thoracic cavity, the abdominal cavity, the pelvic cavity. Those are going to be the ones that we're really going to focus on in class. Um, uh, the ventral body cavity contains most of our structures and the chest and abdomen, and it's uh, subdivided into those three cavities that I just mentioned. Um, and then uh, you might be familiar with these other cavities, um, the oral cavity, the nasal cavity, and the orbital cavity. The oral cavity is obviously in the mouth. Nasal cavity is through the nose and behind the nose. And then the orbital cavities are where your eyes are. So those are all openings to the body. And I believe that's it. Thank you for watching.